today class, yeah, my name is Engineer Theocracy, your instructor. For those who are coming for the first time, for new students, uh, this is what we are taking for today. The course 101 says, how to prepare your new farm for snail farming. When I said your new farm, it's a defined land that you want to use for farming. Now, how do you prepare your new land? Now, let's just assume that the land is... like this with bushes, grasses are everywhere. Now, some of us might surprise that uh, we are growing every day. So what you need to do is first, you check the soil. The soil is the first thing you check. The question you ask yourself, what type of soil do I have? Is my, my, my soil me? Is it sandy? Is it swampy or rocky? That's the first question you ask. Then you note it. You send it to your, your instructor by knowing the type of soil you have. The second question you have is, ask yourself is the fencing. What is the height of the fence? You want to prepare for a farm? The height of the fence should be between uh, 11 to 14 coaches. Some do 10, fine, but between 11 to 14 coaches, if you can achieve 14, beautiful. But if you cannot achieve 14, you achieve 13, you achieve 12, you achieve 11. But note, the higher the fence, the better for you, because the cross will not suffer, depending on what you are planting. Farms that you will not plant kokoyama, I mean, banana, banana at all, you might go at 10, you might go at 9. But it's not recommended. Recommended uh, uh, fence height, remember, from this point, we call it DPC. DPC. Then from here, it's basically two block down, two block down before the DPC. So if you are calculating the DPC to the 11 to 14 coaches, then it will be any coach you decide to choose here plus. Two, because majorly some two block enter ground or one and a half, just plus one is entering now to this. That is all. You've got your height. And when the men are walking on the fence, please make sure they mortar every joint so that you don't have some holes in the fence. It's called snail proofing. Now, let's talk about the types of uh, uh, trees. You have some trees, heavy trees, in the farm, you understand, that was there before you acquired the land, or as of now, they are there. When I mean trees, things that are higher than the fence, things that will be higher than the fence, is already there. I would advise at this moment not to uproot any tree. You can clear every grasses, leave those trees. Just cut off those leaves and leave those trees. If the trees are big, cut it off. If there are big trees, cut it off. <coughs> but don't uproot it. You will know why you shouldn't uproot your uh, uh, trees. Now, after noting this, the soil, the fence, the height of the fence, the other thing you need to also calculate or know is the environment. Your environment. If there are buildings upstairs, upstairs, remember, people will see your farm. Have that in back of your mind. People will see your farm. So, whichever situation you find yourself, if it is a, a bungalows that your, your farm is higher than, just know that there's a secret that uh, people will not know what's going on. But if you have this mind that there will be secret, that you don't want people to know, and they are upstairs, and you will be looking at your farm from the up. That is how you prepare the land. Remember, when you are fencing your land, and it is one plot or two plots, you have no intention of driving into the land. No, don't bother yourself putting 
a, 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 a drivable gate. No, just put a pedestrian gate, just a small gate. Small gate of three feet, three feet. Three feet uh, gate is okay. Then, after acquiring all of this, you can decide to till your ground. Till the ground. When you till the ground, balance the ground, and everywhere in the farm is balanced, then you are prepared for your snail farming. You have prepared the farm for snail farming. Remember, this is preparation for snail preparation for snail farming. Now, another thing you also have to think of is how often, how often is my money going to come? I'm a student. No, SRT is not building for me. I want to build my farm myself. Now, I don't have money yet to fence. I don't have money yet to fence. This fence will cost me a lot. All you need to do is remove this fence, remove this fence, start working on the ground. By the time you work on the ground and you are preparing the ground, prepare everything, you can as well start your walkway, you can as well start doing things on the ground, then if possible you plant. While those plantations are growing, you then be sourcing money to raise your fence. Because some have waited, spare waited until they have money to do their fence, then they will now wait again to start planting and waiting until the plants will grow. That's double waiting. So while waiting to raise your fence, plant. When you plant, that period of the fence growing, the, the plants growing, you can be doing your fence. The only little slight disadvantage there is during the process of fencing, some of the messes will destroy the plants around that environment. So, in that case, when you finish your fence, you can roof immediately and stock immediately because your farm has grown. So, in preparing your land, make sure you know the type of soil, to prepare the everything on ground and be ready. If there's any question to that, please let me know. Ask your question regarding this and ask a general question. I'm in the college waiting for you as class starts from morning to Saturday in the morning to the evening. So anytime you see your the video, please ask your question within that duration because the college is intact. Every other question will be replied to audio. Thank you.